we're off to our first job today. It's gonna be a it's a repeat customer client. Uh, one large master bedroom and stairs and pet problems. So last time we were here, they had pet problems and and we're gonna address that again. We're gonna go ahead and do a uh, all-in-one mix for this one because if I remember right, uh, there was a lot of pet stains everywhere. So we're gonna do the the uh, green rhino cocktail once again. If you don't know what that is, stay tuned. All right, so got my backpack spray. Already mixed up my solution before I got here. Got about two gallons uh, carpet details mixed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and boost it with the deodorizer and then with the peroxide um, Gawaxi. Five ounces per gallon of that, 12 ounces per gallon of that, and all in one. So that way there isn't multiple steps. And I'll take care of everything. And it's pretty much, it's pretty bright in here, so it's hard to pick up everything. So it's really hard to look for it. But you can smell a little bit throughout the, the room. And so that's why we're just gonna do the overall. Yeah, we don't wanna miss anything because we can't see anything. So we're just gonna do the overall and charge accordingly. So I'm doing two enzymes for this. Well, I have two pet treatments for this. This is the size of two rooms. So one pet treatment would be equal to one guest size room. And that's going to go accordingly as far as my pet treatment charges. Everybody's different. That's what I do. So this green lionel cocktail, that is not a enzyme deodorizer that I'm using there. That has some other proprietary type of chemistry to it but it's not enzyme and it shouldn't be because I'm using a peroxide product but so peroxide would kill the enzyme so you'd be deep you know uh, defeating the purpose so just let you guys know that I've had that question a few times I, I kind of lean more toward peroxide based pet treatments because I'm just just uh, pop backs that happened with enzymes periodically. But if I do use an enzyme, which I always keep an enzyme on my van, and there are definitely times where I use enzymes, I stay away from using enzymes on Berber type carpets because definitely they're notorious for for popping back up and you just got to go back there and go back to the house and hit it with the a post spray as a peroxide product it gets rid of it on contact but so I keep that in mind you don't want to use the peroxide product on wools and natural fibers which most carpeted areas or not every now and then you'll run into a wool carpet now for area rugs now you're gonna run into a lot more a lot more wool so this product is probably not the best well this um, green rhino cocktail is probably not the best mixture for a lot of a lot of the uh, airy rugs, but definitely for residential or commercial type carpet. So what we're going to do now is to make sure that we get 
the solution around all the fibers around the whole fiber itself we're going to go ahead and do some scrubbing there's a lot of different odor pet stain and odor products out there and you know all of them probably work good but none of them work great so even with the um with the ones that claim that they can just destroy the odor and no problem you're, you're not gonna have that it's just, just depends on the severity I and mean, you can't always blame it on the top of the carpet you have to realize that the backing of the carpet especially as pet problems occur are saturated so if you have a pet problem that's just in this area and you know what's there and everywhere else is good and it's like a big area and it smells real bad you can do a submersion right you, you pour your oxy type product i use miracle and and uh submerge it let it sit and then you take your water column and that'll take care of that area but if you have an area to where it's just all over you can't actually do that submersion to the whole carpet i mean you can but it's going to take a long time you have to charge a lot of money and if the customer wants to do that then fine but at that point for the the price of <laughs> doing that to the whole carpet you might be able to just replace a pad but anyway like i said everybody's different i'm not definitely not uh in this to say i know everything and follow me and everybody else is wrong now I'm, I'm i'm to help people out getting started in this business that are just cautious about hurting people's property so i show you safe safe stuff to use and, and it will, will works for me on it every day you know on it every day and I got a great reputation from, you know, where I'm at. And that's why I can recommend it.
every situation is different. That's what we did on this job. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please hit that like, okay? Let me get my subscriptions up. Um, YouTube kind of recognizes your channel when people are doing something on it. So, uh, we'll see you in the next one.